In this exercise, we're going to learn to create a terrain by using some of the sandbox tools. Now that's an extension we're going to have to enable if it's not already, so click on Window and go to Preferences. In Preferences, find the preference of extensions and make sure Sandbox is enabled. If not, check that box. Click OK. You may have to start, stop and restart your SketchUp for Sandbox tools to take effect. Next, we'll go to View and add that toolbar. Click on View, click on Toolbars, and from there check the box for Sandbox Tools and click OK or Close. There's my Sandbox Tools. Now I'm going to put it in my top toolbar area. I do this because I want it to look well when I record. Some people, it's common practice to put it here at the end. You can choose where you put it. With Sandbox Tools there, we have several tools to choose from. We're only going to look at a few of them today. One is Terrain, or From Contours, From Scratch, Smooth, Stamp, Drape, Add Detail, and Flip Edge. The first thing we're going to use is our From Scratch tool. This is going to create the, the initial grid that we're going to use. To get the dimensions I want, I'm going to create a rectangle first. Now the rectangle will be a separate element other than what we create with our From Scratch tool. So we'll click a corner of our rectangle. We're going to create 100 feet by 100 feet. This is only to let us know how big of a rectangle or how big of a space we want to um, draw with. Okay, now I'll use my From Scratch tool. I'll click on the corner and let's try uh, type 5 feet and then click the corner. It's important that you don't press enter here. And then type 5 feet again and click the other corner. So now I have my grid. Let's move this grid up. I've chosen the move tool and we're going to move it up about oh, 10 feet or so. So I'll click on that grid. I'll start it up. It looks like it's on the blue axis. I'll type in 10 feet. Press enter. There we are. Now our first grid, our first rectangle is still here. That we're going to play with in a moment. But let's, um, let's work with this grid. Now this is a component already, so we're going to have to double click it in order to make changes. Press spacebar so I have my select tool. I'll double click it and now we can make changes. That was actually a triple click. Triple click. And then with that I can go to my my select tool and select just a few areas. Now you know if you drag from upper left to lower right you, you only select those things you completely encompass. Okay, And then we could use the smooth tool and pull that up or down. If we drag from lower right to upper left spacebar, we, everything we touch gets selected. And we can use the smooth pool smooth tool again to push that down create a, a varied terrain put some irregular patterns all around so it doesn't look like it's just smooth bumps and then um, we'll change this bottom surface and see what kind of patterns what kind of create or effect we can create holding a shift key, smooth, I'll pull this up a little bit, Okay, the last step I'd like you to do is make sure that you pull part of this down below that original plane that we had. You can tell it's done by, uh, but when you pull it down below that, you can see some of that original plane showing through. We're going to do something fun with that in a moment. Okay, with that done, we'll click away. I'll get my bucket tool, turn on my tray, and let's go find some water. 
we'll pour some water in here. We'll use the, the two-tone and pour that in the bottom. So now we can see we have water in our terrain. Okay, that concludes this part of creating a terrain.